hill. Never would. When nobody goes. Up a track. Through a gate. The food forest grows. With secrets and treasures for everyone's pleasure. And Rob's discover, Rob's discovery. Are you sitting comfortably? <laughs> no? Okay, well, this won't take very long. <laughs> Every seed you plant contains within itself an enormous amount of information about the universe. Nothing made by human hands can compare with this information, either in size or accuracy. Through the help of this data, the seed knows the exact time, down to the millisecond, when it is to come alive to grow, what juices it is to take from the earth, and how to make use of the rays of the celestial bodies, the sun, moon and the stars. What it is to grow into, what fruit to bring forth. These fruits are designed to sustain man's life, more powerfully and effectively than any manufactured drugs of the present or future. These fruits are capable of counteracting and withstanding any disease of the human body. But to this end, the seed must know about the human condition so that during the maturation process, it can satiate its fruit with the right correlation of substances to heal a specific individual of all their diseases, if indeed they have it or are prone to it. In order, ooh, hello bee. <laughs> In order for the seed of a cucumber, tomato or any other plant grown in one's plot. To have such information, the following steps are necessary. Before planting, put the seed into your mouth. One or more little seeds. Hold them in your mouth, under the tongue, for at least nine minutes. At this point, I should say that it's only safe to do this with either seeds you've collected yourself from a previous harvest or organically produced seeds, otherwise they might contain or be coated in rat poison or something similarly poisonous. During this time, it is important that you be standing barefoot on the spot of earth where you will later be planting it. Then place the seed between the palms of your hands and hold it there for about 30 seconds. Open your hands and carefully raise the seed which you are holding to your mouth. Then blow on it lightly, warming it with your breath and the wee little seed will know everything that is within you. Then you need to hold it with your hands open another 30 seconds, presenting the seed to the celestial bodies, and the seed will determine the moment of its awakening. The planets will all help it, and they'll give the sprouts the light they need to produce fruit especially for you. After that, you may plant the seed in the ground, you shouldn't water it straight away, otherwise it will wash away the saliva which is now covering it, along with other information about you that the seed will take in. It can be watered three days after planting. The planting must be done on days appropriate to each vegetable. People already know this from the lunar calendar. In the absence of watering, a premature planting is not as harmful as an overdue planting. 
it is not a good idea to pull up all the weeds growing in the vicinity of the sprouts. At least one of each kind should be left in place. The weeds can be cut back, but the weeds should not be disposed of completely as they have their own appointed function. Some weeds serve to protect the plant from disease, whilst others give supplemental information. During the cultivation time, it is vital to communicate with the plant, and it is desirable to approach it and touch it during a full moon at least once during its growth period. The fruit cultivated from the seed in this manner and consumed by the individual who cultivates it, it's capable of not only curing them of all diseases of the flesh whatsoever, but also significantly retarding the aging process, reducing them from harmful habits, tremendously increasing their mental abilities and giving them a sense of inner peace. The fruit will have the most effective influence when consumed no later than three days after harvesting. The pre-mentioned steps should be taken with a variety of plant species in the garden plot. It is not necessary to plant a whole bed of cucumbers or tomatoes, for example, in this manner. Just a few plants each is enough. The fruit of plants grown like this will be distinguished from other plants of the same species, not only in taste, if analysed, it will be seen that they are also distinct in terms of the substances they contain. When planting the seedlings, it is important to soften the soil in the excavated hole with one's fingers and bare toes and spit into the hole. Using the feet is important because the perspiration from one's feet contains substances containing information about bodily diseases. This information is taken in by the seedlings. They transmit it to the fruit, which will thus be enabled to counteract diseases. What kind of plants should one cultivate? The same variety that exists in most garden plots is quite sufficient. Raspberries, currants, gooseberries, cucumbers, tomatoes, wild strawberries and any kind of apple tree. Sweet or sour cherries and flowers will be very good too. It does not make any difference how many plants of each kind there are or how big their area of cultivation is. Right, definitely gonna give this a go, see what happens. There are loads more gardening tips in this book. Some of them really useful, some quite controversial but that's the one that's applicable at the moment so we'll give it a go and see what happens. Should we try it now without the camp wave? <laughs> um, sh shall we? I'm still filming. Oh um yeah, that'll do. <laughs> it's all right everyone's used to it now. Thank you.